So Carrie asks, also, would you review how the split tester works? So I'm sure Elliot's queuing that up right now. I just uh, listened to Mike and Andy's Genesis videos on it. I guess it's Genesis Labs. Excellent. I've never done it before because it felt like it was technically over my head, but it's not. It is super, super simple. And Elliot's going to show that to you right now. Yes. So let me open and this up real quick. It is the ultimate question, uh, answer to the question of, do I do a long sales page? Do I do a VSL? Do I do right. a short Sales page? I thought the answer was 42. Oh. Well, that's the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Not to this. This is no, much more the ultimate, narrow question. ultimate answer to the ultimate question. Exactly. <laughs> so you're going to want to go to My Pages, and then up at the top, you're going to select on select Split Tests. Once you've got, let's say you've built two pages. So build one page, maybe clone it, and just change a couple of things. Get those two pages done, and then click on the plus split test button in the lower right, that big green button. I'm gonna click that real quick. We'll name our campaign, just so that, for our own reference. So now you've got destination page options. So since you've built your pages in Kartra, you can use an external URL if you want, and it will give you a tracking code if you want to do a split test with an external. But for now, we're just gonna use Kartra pages. So let's say I'm testing between this audio page that I've created, let's say 50% split between that one and this second audio page that I've created. So let's say I'm testing between these two. We'll, we'll just set up a nice split between those two. You can do up to four, I believe, on your split test. Um, Correct. So we'll go on to the next one. Next is your goal. You can actually choose a goal to be tracking. So if you're doing opt-ins, uh, so let's say you've got an opt-in form and you want to see which one is doing the most getting the most opt-ins, the most bang for your buck in terms of opt-ins. So we can select that and we can select an opt-in form. So let's say uh, an ebook form. So we'll track track how many people have signed up in the form to receive my ebook. We'll click on next. This is the final one, which is really, really awesome. So you can select an auto auto select a winner or automatically pick a winner. Or don't select an auto auto select a winner or automatically pick a winner. Um, so if you do this, then the campaign is just going to run until you choose which page wins. If you choose this, however, you can end the campaign after a certain number of visitors. So you get to choose how many visitors, let's say 500 visitors. After 500 visitors arrive, redirect all traffic to the version with the highest goals per visitor or revenue per visitor. And so you can actually choose for ha to have Kartra automatically, as soon as it number that number hits 500, it'll start sending people to the one that'll get you the most bang for your buck. So let's Sweet. go with goals per visitor. Shazam. Shazam. Very nice. Uh, then finally, you can tag people who are visiting your split test link. Um, so that way you know that those people have come in through a split test. Uh, I'm going to say no tags for now. We'll continue on. And just like that, there is the link. So this is my split test link. Um, once once you get start getting data, it'll arrive right here. This is this is the data you receive. Um, so just a quick note: that split test link that you have there, that's what they would use to send traffic to here. So from your right. ad, that would be the link that you would use. This is or the link you want to use. So or wherever you're testing, right? This link leads to either one or the other page, and fifty percent by fifty percent, which is what I chose. If you want to test one just a little bit and see if it does better. You could you could choose like twenty percent for one page and eighty yeah, percent for the other. Good point. Um, <clears throat> Just once, note that when you actually, if you click on that link and then you click on it again and again, it's probably not going to bounce back and forth between the pages because right. it's already determined that you've gotten this one page. Right. So it it remembers it it caches you into one into one link. So that way, someone who clicks on it won't get a different page every time they they visit. Consistency is key, after all. Uh, so once you've got your data, you'll see you'll see uh, your two pages. So you've got a list here of your two pages. Um, one side here, one's in red, one's in green. You've got the number of days that it's been running, the number of visitors to the link in total, number of goals in total that have been met, the amount of revenue in total, and the percent of certainty. Now this this has to do with how certain Kartra is that one is doing better than the other, right? That's uh, a ratio. This ratio tracks how statistically relevant the campaign results are. The larger the data spectrum, visitors, the days running, conversion amount, 
plus the wider the gap between the winning version and the rest, the higher the certainty ratio will be. You'll want to see this ratio above 90% to validate the campaign. Ooh. So it's the more data you've got, the more accurate you know, the more accurately you'll know that one works better than the other. So that I was there for that. the stats geeks. Yeah, I like the exactly. stats when it gives you the statistics, like aim for 90% and above. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah, like, um, so very, Tell very cool. Thing. Um, yep. Once you click end split test, you can you can end it. And uh, this one's listed as a draw because I haven't <laughs> run it at all. Nobody clicked on it. And <laughs> Nobody clicked the link. Five minutes it was up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I hope that that clarifies.